Advanced Innovative Education is sponsoring Teacher Appreciation Luncheon. This is National Teacher Appreciation Week, so celebrations are being done all over the country. Um, to really recognize the hard work that teachers do. Um, teachers are paid very low and they work very, very hard and many times they they furnish their own classrooms and things that their students need out of their own pockets. So it's just a little thing that we can do. Um, Advanced Innovative Education has a very uh, special place, I think, in the school. Uh, in, two th in February of 2006, we began a journey toward making the school uh, become a reality. It took about 35 adults, including nine school board members from East Baton Rouge Parish, which to say the least was challenging, uh, to New York. And we saw some schools that were autonomous schools, uh, which is essentially they're um, governed by the, the elected school body but they have autonomy. So they're almost like a hybrid of a charter and a regular school. So we worked for about two years to get the school open. We had uh, a, a rather large uh, grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, we worked very closely with Mark Sternberg, who actually was running um, a school called the Bronx Lab School, and it's still up and going, even though Mark has moved on to the New York City Department of Ed. Uh, so this, uh, this school is actually a sister school of Bronx Lab. There was a proposal from the administration, the superintendent's office, to close the school as a result of oncoming budget cuts. But five years ago, the school system entered into a partnership um, with various organizations in the community to try a small schools concept. And the school is now in its fourth year. Um, there was a fight to keep the school open to go against the superintendent's recommendations because I strongly believe once you start something, you should at least see it through. And the school has grown in four years. They're graduating their first class. And I hope to see it around for a while. Um, we said we were going to try a small school concept. And I think we should live to our commitment. Uh, it was an experiment, almost. And we think that it's it's really proven uh, wonderful because the students, there are 100% of the students who are graduating this year, 100% of the students who are going on to post-secondary opportunities, either to your college, for your college, or the military. I'm pretty sure you can't say that about too many schools. Our school is a small college preparatory school with no entry admission requirements. So any student who's interested in going to college, um, who may be lacking some skills, have been, he, the student may have been underserved. Um, prior to coming to our school, our goal and our mission is to get them ready for college. I teach English 4, so I have, am working with the first group of graduating seniors. We have um, about 65 of them. An amazing group of young people, and they have made every bit of my transition coming here worth it. They are incredible and bright and very, very gifted, and I know that being in this small school setting really helped shape them into the people that they are because we get to spend so much more time with them on an individual level. Where I taught before, our, you know, my smallest class was 33 and it's really hard to work with 33 students at a time and feel like you're really reaching them and here you have a much better opportunity of doing that and much more time to really get to know them and what they need from us as teachers. Our teachers go above and beyond what's expected of teachers to help our students overcome those challenges and get them ready for college. And this is my first year at EBR Lab. I've been teaching for 12 years now in the district. Um, and so for my, you know, my peers to nominate me the first year here, it was a real honor. And I never dreamed that I'd be district teacher of the year. So that just was, you know, I still don't have words for it. I would like to say thank you to each one of you for everything that you have done this year and all the things that you will do. Thank you for everything, seriously. Thank you for being a, a family. Thank you for everything that you've done for our students, for EBR Land. These teachers, many of them have been here for four years, but our, our relationship started five years ago. We work with them, but our mission in Advanced Innovative Education is to start innovative movements. So what we did was we helped start the school, we helped train some of the leaders, we helped train some of the teachers, but we trained them to be independent and autonomous because we really, believe, we really value autonomy. So at this point, 
when the principal needs something or the teachers need something, we show them how to get those things. How do you become a social entrepreneur so that you can expand the experiences of your students and the students' families? Uh, and that's really what being a good school leader is all about, you know, getting the resources you need and really working toward the mission for student achievement. And that's how we helped them. We kind of gave them a little push and they were standing back and saying, if you need something, let us know and we'll, we'll direct you. And um, it's worked and they're teaching the kids the same values. So we know that they're working because they're successful.